Hi guys, um, I just thought I would uh, share with you a, a, a machining program that works very well. Uh, it's, it's totally proven out on um, four different machines. The Fanuc 15M, uh, the Haas, um, I've used it on uh, Okuma. You have to change it a little bit to the um, Akuma language, but um, works great on that. And uh, the Mazak uh, EIA ISO straight G code programming it, um, works great on that as well. So I use this, uh, or it's actually being used every day in our programs and uh, works great. So basically, you got a um, a rough bore here and uh, you, you'd like to open the bore up to um, a particular size and uh, this this will just automatically keep cutting actually infinitely if it uh, I mean eventually you're gonna run out of material but it, it would just keep cutting and cutting until it uh, reaches uh, the final pass so um, I just thought I'd go over the program a little bit and share with you how it works. Um, but uh, you bring bring the cutter into the center of the hole here. And basically what it does is uh, you turn the cutter comp on. And um, it goes into the cut. And it starts helically interpolating around to the three o'clock position and then right here whatever your step over amount is it will you know cut a quarter of a arc here and uh, go to the twelve o'clock position and it buzzes around and it just keeps um, cutting and cutting and this uh, step over amount whatever you program in here up above which uh, in this case is S2 it will uh, um, this particular this is uh, metric up here so two millimeters and uh, here's how it's defined here so you got uh, A is feed rate during cutting B is feed rate during cutter comp on um, the reason why I've got those two separated is because if you've got a, a very large bore you're gonna probably want it to cut or, or it to cut or comp on a lot more quicker than um, than the uh, actual feed rate so that's why those two are separated in this particular case they're the same number because um, the cutter radius is pretty close to the uh, radius of the rough bore so I just kept them the same um, so after that E E here represents um, either 1 or 0 and what E does is when it's all done cutting uh, the cutter will if you if you uh, right up here put one the cutter will go to the center of the bore if you have zero it'll just stop cutting and um, then your next line is to uh, program the cutter to come out but there's there's cases where you would maybe want to have it go to the center of the bore so that would be E1 Um, E0, yeah, it's same thing I just said is um, typed here. C is the amount backed off during cutter comp on to rough radius. So um, the more that you back it off in, in the, uh, my program here, it will 
it'll just keep going up higher um, and so it'll be a lot closer to just cut right in um, to the N6 um, but if you want it to be a gradual cut um, don't back it off that much um, okay that that's the cutter comp D so that would be the radius of the cutter programmed into your control um, F is the final radius of the bore um, R is the rough radius of the bore so just program the size program the size of the rough bore and the finished bore and what you want it to be and uh, the step over mount how much you want to step it over um, and works it works uh, really well so then also um, okay so if none of the, if if any one of these isn't defined it will the program will stop so that's that's what this little section is here um, that's that's just a safety thing there so now 125 and 126 here number 5041 and 5042 what that does is it uh, saves the machine position down here at the end of the program it will um, if you program um, that it equals 1, the machine will move in X and Y to the center of the bore right here. So, otherwise, if it equals 0, it's just going to jump over that um, and not go to the center of the bore. But, uh, so... Here's what N5 looks like here. This is uh, the cutter comp online coming in. Okay. N6. Um, it's going into the cut to here. And um, then it just starts to cut and loop and cut and loop until um, it's gone into the finish. It's it's come close to the finish pass. Um, you could also program this all in one cut, so um, it will. If you set the R and the F to the same number, it'll it'll just dive right into the finish pass. Um, which is N N101 here. So, um, yeah. It, uh, I kind of had to, it took a while to kind of debug this program, but it's, uh, very simple. Um, I think you've got a little bit more control over it than um, some of the other uh, custom bore programs out there. But um, yeah, if your if your control has macros um, and you can utilize you know variables and having the machine move by um, the variables, um, this works excellent. So. Here's the bottom of the program. That's just basically the if one of them isn't defined here, um, it'll, it will tell you which one isn't defined. It'll just jump down um, and then at the very end it'll clear it out to zero. But If you uh, look at, okay, so N8 is here, and you want to 
type this out, which believe me is a lot quicker than uh, it took me to do it. Um, now your control might be a little bit different. So this is the one that runs off of the Mazak. Um, and over here, this is the program that runs um, on the Haas. And uh, the big difference would be right here. 5001 and 5002. Um, that uh, is, I believe, block end position. Um, in uh, Peter Smith's custom macros book. Um, that would be block end position for for uh, quite a few different controls, but um, over here on the Mazak. Um, it, where is that, where is the, there it is right there. Um, I had to use 5041 and 5042 to uh, set the 125 and 126. So, um, yeah. Uh, I guess it about does it. it it'll uh, it'll get the bore right down to. I mean exactly. If your if your machine cuts perfect circles or near perfect circles um, with uh, um, how you're programming now, um, it will do the same thing with this program, no problem. So I've we've been running this for years now, and uh, it's help me to not worry about if if it's right or not um cutter goes in there and cuts great so um i thought this wor was worth sharing and uh kind of giving you uh, a great example of how to use macros and um i guess that about does it i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching